Welcome back to Falling Fox Gaming, everybody. I am your host, Blaine, and today we're beginning our brand new Kenji series titled Rise of the Skeletons. Nearly two decades ago, K4N3 had rebooted. He found himself entombed beneath the desert sands. The only thing in his possession was an ancient science book with many mysterious notes scribbled within. His memory core had been severely damaged. Most of it did not make any sense. Eventually, he decided he needed to get free, so he began digging towards the surface. Upon reaching the surface, his sensors indicated there was a city nearby to the southwest. That is where his journey would begin. Along the way, he saw remnants of the old armies. What had happened? Reaching the Black Desert City, he was severely disappointed. It was a pale shadow of what he was expecting. But if he was going to find answers, this is the place to start. Upon entering the bar, something is very clear to K4N3. The skeletons that have amassed here do not seem like those he remembered. They seem almost like drunkards, drifters. What happened to the proud people that he served alongside? He started off the night making the rounds, chatting up with the different skeletons, trying to figure out who they are. It of course didn't take long for him to learn that skeletons were no longer on the top of the food chain. They were no longer the top echelon of species. In the time that he'd been gone, skeletons had been pushed aside, had been persecuted to the point of near extinction. According to the locals, even the hivers have it better than the skeletons these days. This will not do. The skeletons are a proud and mighty race. Something must be done. Standing amongst the locals, most of which were skeletons, he makes a proclamation. Soon, the skeletons will rise up and regain their past glory. Anyone that wishes to join him only has to seek him out. They are free to join at any time, but know this. If you join, your service is for life, and for a skeleton, that could be eternity. Unfortunately for K4N3, what he was looking for could not be found here. The locals had lost most of their hope. They had lost their self-esteem. They had lost their pride. It's something that he considers unacceptable. How could it be that the skeletons, who stood side by side with the greatest warriors of their time, had been pushed to the brink of being nothing more than drifters? From his understanding, very few skeleton cities dotted the world. He immediately knew that needed to change. Black Desert City is a ruin compared to what he's used to. This is nothing compared to what he had seen in his day. He decided that his first objective would be to explore the world and figure out precisely what it is that needs to change first. It's impossible to grasp the goal ahead of him. He has no idea what's out there. The cities, the names, from what he's heard, none of them made sense. The only thing he's sure of is that the world needs to change, and it looks like he's the one that needs to do it. There's one other thing bothering K4N3. Why did he reboot suddenly? That's not a normal thing that happens. At least it's never happened to him before. Is there something else going on? Something else he should be worried about? That's a question for another day. For now, he needs to keep his priorities straight. This world has clearly changed drastically. He needs to figure out if there's anything left of the old empire. From what he's seen, he doubts it. But you never know. Alright, let's talk for a minute because we have some things to discuss. Let me introduce everybody, K4N3 also known as Kane, I will probably refer to him from here on out. He is going to be our protagonist, our main character, and he is going to be at the center stage of all of our episodes, pretty much. Now, he is not a noob. He has stats that are decent because in his past life, he was a functioning member of society and a pretty good warrior. His stats have been greatly reduced because he was shut down for a very long period of time, but as you can see, he still has decent stats across the board. He's going to be the only person that we're going to start off like that. Everyone else is going to start off as pretty much a brand new person. So don't worry about that. But I would like to discuss what this campaign is going to be because this came up as a poll for my channel of what this series was going to be. And it was voted on a skeleton versus holy nation war. Now, I want to make it very clear we are not just going to gather up a horde of skeletons and attack the holy nation. That would be very boring for everybody and it would only take a couple of episodes. If you've watched anything of mine, you would know that I like to focus on the role play. And that's what this is going to be. We're going to go and play through the eyes of Cain. He is going to travel around 
see what the world is like, and figure out that things need to change. We are not by any means just going to blob up and attack enemies. We are going to take the time to create a good story. Now, the one thing about Kenshi is that it's been around for so long that everything has been done a million times, whether it's a war against the Holy Nation, the UC, the Sheik, whatever, it doesn't matter. Everything has been done. It's an old game. So we're just going to have to deal with that. The concept of this playthrough is going to be story and Kane. We are going to see exactly how a warrior leader would draw up an army and prepare for war. While the main campaign is a skeleton war versus the Holy Nation, that's not the only thing going on. I want to make it very, very, very clear, so I'm going to say it again, that that's not what we're doing. We're not just going to gather up an army and attack the Holy Nation. Now, unfortunately, this episode is going to be very short because I have some issues with Kenshi right now that I'm actually trying to work out, and it's actually disrupted the next part of the campaign. So before I get that figured out, I wanted to drop this video and let you guys know that the new series will be kicking off now. This is the official start of it. I wanted to introduce the character and let you guys know what the campaign setting and everything is going to be. So I want to thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys are excited for what's to come. And if you're excited for everything, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.